Reading Rocket. Disney Pixar Lightyear Bug Trouble. Adapted by Steve Beeling and illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. It was still dark when Commander Burnside gave the order. Get me the Universe Protection Division of the Space Ranger Corps. Socks, let's gather the team, Captain Buzz said to his robot cat. They quickly found Izzy, Mo, and Darby, and together the team strode across the Star Command base. I can't believe it, Izzy said excitedly. It's our first official mission as Space Rangers. I know you're all anxious to show what you can do, Buzz said. But remember, you still have a lot to learn. You'll need to be alert and ready for anything. That won't be a problem, Mo said. Ready for anything is my middle name. Just then, a long vine wrapped around Mo and dragged him away from his friends. Now that's exactly what I'm talking about, Buzz said. Can anyone tell me what you should do in a case like this? Anyone? Darby opened his mouth, but Buzz stopped her. Something that doesn't include a weapon? She frowned and shook her head. Buzz walked to the vine and stomped down hard on the slithery arm. The vine released its grip on Mo. See? Nice and easy, Buzz explained. That's how a space ranger approaches a mission. Thanks, Buzz, Mo said, rising to his feet. A few minutes later, the Space Rangers reached the large hangar on the edge of the base. There you are, right on time, Commander Burnside said. Captain Lightyear, we have an urgent need for you and your squad. We're ready to help, Buzz said. More than ready, Izzy added eagerly, beyond ready. An unidentified object was detected a short while ago, hurtling toward the planet's dark side, Commander Burnside said. Your mission is to investigate this unidentified object and report back. Wow, a real mission, Izzy said excitedly as she settled into one of the pilot seats. That's right, Buzz said, so let's do everything by the book. Yes, just like the Space Ranger Manual, Izzy said. That's the one you were talking about, right? Yes, Buzz said. That's the one I was talking about. Be prepared for anything, Commander Burnside warned as the hatch closed. Oh, we're prepared all right, Mo said, passing out sandwiches for a pre-mission snack. Remember, Buzz said as he started the pre-flight sequence, stay close and work together. A voice came over the ship's communication system. Space Rangers, you are clear for launch in T minus three, two, one. The ship launched into space. Izzy watched Takani Prime fall away as the ship rose into the still dark pre-dawn sky. That's funny, she said, adjusting the ship's trajectory. The ship is flying a lot smoother than usual. Uh, must be the new engines, Buzz said. A short while later, the ship landed flawlessly on the dark side. All right, Universe Protection Division, let's review the mission, Buzz said. We don't know what we'll find out there, so everyone should be on high alert. But Mo was already out of his seat. He opened the ship's hatch and bolted outside. Let's go identify that unidentified object, he said, his voice fading in the distance. Darby rolled her eyes and went after him as Sox, Izzy, and Buzz followed. Hey, Buzz shouted after Mo. You were supposed to wait until we finished the mission review. Yeah, Darby shouted. What happened to doing everything by the book? Sorry, Darby, Mo said, shrugging at a shallow trench carved into the soil. At the end of that trench was a glowing purple orb. What do you think it is? Mo asked. No idea, Darby replied. Maybe something that blows up. As the two space rangers pondered the unidentified object, neither noticed the ominous shapes slowly approaching in the sky behind them. At the last second, Darby heard a high-pitched buzzing sound. 
Mo, get down! She shouted, pushing her friend into the dirt. Suddenly, bugs were upon them. The bugs swarmed around them, and Mo wasn't sure what to do next. Any ideas? he asked. Uh, not really, Darby said, checking her suit. All we have are the standard issue flares that come with our Space Ranger uniforms. Everything else is still on the ship. That's not good, Mo replied. Over there, Buzz, I see something. Mo heard Izzy's voice and looked up. Izzy was running toward them with Buzz by her side. They had shields and laser blades drawn, and they waved them around, driving the bugs away from Mo and Darby. Meow, meow, meow. It looks like you require some assistance, Sox said, zipping in his rocket pack. As the bugs backed off, Buzz approached Mo and Darby with a stern look on his face. Just as he was about to speak, Izzy jumped in front of him and said, You can't just run off on your own like that, Mo. You either, Darby. We're a team and we have to stick together. Realizing that she had cut Buzz off, Izzy gave him a sheepish look. Right, Buzz? But Buzz just smiled. You read my mind, Izzy. That's exactly what I was going to say, he told her. Enthusiasm is great, Buzz said, but Izzy's right. We need to work together as a team. Sock scanned the purple orb, but the results were inconclusive. Curious, Sock said, slowly turning to Buzz. I am unable to classify this object, or even determine what it is made of. It's almost like it isn't there. Buzz looked like he was about to say something when a loud buzzing noise came from above. The bugs had returned, and they had brought friends. Mo, Darby, you don't have any gear, Buzz said. Get behind me and Izzy. Mo and Darby didn't miss a beat as they scrambled behind their teammates. Then Buzz and Izzy put up their shields and waved their laser blades around to discourage the bugs from attacking. Strange, Sock said. The bugs don't seem to be interested in us. Izzy kept her eyes on the bugs and saw that the bugs flew around them, but they seemed drawn to the glowing purple orb in the ground. Sox is right, Izzy exclaimed. Look! Everyone watched the bugs swoop toward the orb. We can't let the bugs take the orb, Buzz said. We need to bring it back so Star Command can figure out exactly what it is. Well, if the bugs are drawn to the glow of the purple orb, what happens if we give them an even bigger glow to chase, Izzy said. All at once, Darby's eyes widened as she pulled out her flare. I like the way you think, Darby said. Buzz quickly agreed and each member of the team took out their standard issue flare. Then they fired them up at the sky. The flares erupted into a giant ball of light and the bugs lost all interest in the purple orb. It's working, Mo shouted. The bugs soared into the sky, chasing after the fiery glow. Great plan, Buzz said to Izzy before turning to face Mo and Darby, and great teamwork too. Now let's get that orb, Izzy said. But just then, everything went dark. Izzy couldn't see anything except her fellow space rangers. I knew the dark side was dark, Mo observed, but this is ridiculous. What happened? Izzy asked. How did it get so dark so fast? Then Sox looked at Buzz and said, I think I might have an idea of what's happening. Buzz grinned as the lights returned. They weren't on the dark side at all. They were still in the hangar with their ship just behind them. Commander Burnside was standing beside it. This hangar is actually a holographic simulator, Burnside explained, built for Space Ranger training purposes. You knew it wasn't real all along? Izzy asked Buzz. He nodded. The training mission had to feel as real as possible. We may have gotten off to a bumpy start, but you showed that we can solve any problem by working together. I'm proud of you, Buzz said. It was nothing, Izzy said. Well, it really was something, wasn't it? 
It sure was, Mo said. Even if we didn't get to blow anything up, Darby agreed. You've got yourself quite a team, Buzz, Commander Burnside said. I think the galaxy's going to be in good hands. Thanks for listening! Don't forget to like and subscribe for regular uploads. If you have a favorite book you'd like read, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Until next time, friends!